Weather. One. Heard it's supposed to rain. Where did you hear that from? The news. The weatherman said there is a high probability of rain. Since when have you started watching the news? I've always watched the news. Well, at least to check out the weather. What else did they say about the weekend? I think they said it was going to rain throughout the weekend. Throughout the weekend? Don't pull my chain. I'm not. They said it, not me. I know you had plans. Well, I don't believe it. Just like I don't believe you watch the news. Okay, suit yourself. I'd take an umbrella, though. I won't. I'd rather get wet than listen to you. Weather, too. Everything is going wrong today. Well, at least the weather is nice. Oh, yeah. Imagine if it had rained like they said it would. I know. I would have gotten soaked walking home. Yeah, I love when the sun is shining, but it's not too hot. I do too. This weather is pretty sweet. I guess everything will be okay in the end. So, all you needed was some sunshine? Yeah, I guess you were right for once. Hey, I'm always right. Weather 3. Quick, get in here and wait out the storm. Oh, my word, thank you so much. It's raining cats and dogs out there. More like lions and wolves. I was watching the news. What did they say? This is going to be one heck of a storm. Should we be worried? I don't think so. The emergency alert system would have gone up. True. Well, thank you for saving me from this storm. No problem. I'm making some tea. Would you like some? Please. Something warm would be great at the moment. Sports 1. Can you explain baseball to me? I can try to explain the basics. What do you want to know? What are strikes? Every batter has three strikes. When they get three strikes, they are out. Okay, but what about when the umpire calls a ball? Once an umpire calls four balls, then the batter goes to first base. What happens when a pitcher hits a batter with the ball? The batter goes to first base. What if someone is on first base? Then whoever was on first base goes to second base. Oh, okay. Well, what's a no-hitter? A no-hitter is when a team doesn't get a hit throughout the game. So that's a good thing for the pitcher? Yes, because that means he pitched really well. Sports 2 Do you know who won against the Dodgers and the Cubs? I'm sorry, but I don't follow baseball. Oh, really? Why not? I've never really got into baseball. I like basketball better. Oh, okay. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. Why do you ask? Could you check to see who won the baseball game? Sure, let me check. It'll take one minute. It looks like the Chicago Cubs won 7-3. Yes, I was rooting for the Cubs. Well, they won. Glad I could be of some service. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Sports 3 My baseball game starts at 2 p.m. today. Will you be there? Yes, I will definitely be there. Great. I will tell my family to save you a seat. What position will you be playing? I will be playing first base, but the coach may switch me. If he switches you, what position will you play? I think he wants me to pitch. You are a pitcher as well? Yes, I am. I'm still training, but I can throw. I didn't know that about you. Well, hopefully you can see me pitch today. Awesome! I can't wait! Describing People 1 I have a new co-worker at work. She's pretty. Oh yeah? Is she prettier than your ex-girlfriend? Yeah, she is. She's tall, thin, and wears glasses. Oh boy. What is it with you and girls with glasses? 
You know what? I don't know. Well, tell me about her. She likes music, and she's always wearing band t-shirts. Really? Are they any bands you like? Yeah, actually a lot of them are. How does she act? Is she nice? She is. I dropped my wallet and didn't notice. She took it to me. We'll ask her out tomorrow, or somebody will. Describing people, too. Dude, I forgot to tell you. I'm going out with Sarah. Which one is Sarah? You date so many girls that I get confused. First off, I don't date that many girls. And secondly, you're always confused. True. So which one is she? Is she in your class? Nope. She's the girl from the restaurant we go to in downtown. From Green Bamboo? Which girl? The cute one, you know, the one with the tattoo of her thigh. I think I would have noticed that. She's the only one with the blonde hair. Well, why don't you just say that? That's Sarah? Well, I know you didn't well, I know you check her out. I assume you saw the tattoo. I'm not that big of a pervert. Greetings, one. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. How are you? I've been better. I'm completely swamped with work. I know the feeling. My boss works me hard, too. Enough about work. How are the kids? They're good. The oldest is about to graduate from high school. You're kidding me. That's great, man. The youngest is about to start middle school soon. My son is about to start middle school as well. Hey, maybe they'll be classmates. It's a strong possibility. Yeah, well, I want to try to beat the traffic. Goodbye. Have a good one. Greetings, too. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fantastic. How about yourself? That's great. I'm good, but I feel a little sick. That's not good. I heard there's a flu going around. Well, I have to be sure to take good care of myself. Sucks that you aren't feeling well. It's a nice day. It is. The sunshine makes me want to go to the beach. That's a great idea, but I think you'll get sicker if you go. True. Perhaps we can go some other time. For sure. Or right, let's get together the next week and go, if you're better. Sounds like a plan. I'll talk to you later. Cool. See you later. Leave taking. It's 4 a.m. already. I have to be getting home. You can stay over if you want. I have an extra bed. I appreciate the gesture, but I must get home. Do you want to hang out tomorrow night? I would love that. I'll call you after I get out of work. What time do you get out? If my boss isn't there, I should be getting out around 8 p.m. And if your boss is there? Then I'll be getting out sometime around 10 p.m. Great. We could go grab a drink after you get out of work. That sounds lovely. Good night. Good night. Drive home safely. Favorite movie. What's your favorite movie? The Grand Budapest Hotel. Why do you ask? I was wondering what type of movies you liked. Well, that's my favorite movie, but I like all sorts of movies. Oh, okay, but what do you like in that movie so much? Because it has action, adventure, comedy, and wonderful acting. How many times would you say you have seen it? Too many to say. I watch it at least twice a month. Really? You like it that much? It's a really good movie. You should watch it. Could I borrow it? I don't have money to buy it. Yes, I could lend you the movie, but be careful with it. Receiving visitors. Come in, please. Take a seat wherever you'd like. Thank you. It's been a long, hot day. It has been a hot one. Would you like something to drink? What do you have? We have soda, juice, and bottled water. I'll take bottled water, and my wife would like one, too. Sounds good. Would you like it in a glass with ice? Yes, that sounds wonderful. 
We also have some slices of pineapple. Would you like some? Pineapple would hit the spot. I would love some. Does your wife want some as well? Actually, she doesn't like pineapple. Thanks anyway. Compliment. That's an awesome shirt. Thank you. It's so nice of you to say. Where did you get it? I got it at a store at the mall. The mall? Did it cost a lot? Things are usually overpriced there. Actually, it was quite cheap. I got it for fifteen ninety nine. That is pretty cheap. Do they have it in other colors? Do you want to go get one? Yeah, I like how it looks. Would you want to come with me? We can go after school if you want. That would be great. I need new clothes, but I don't know what to buy. I'll help you pick out something cute. Sharing news. Did you hear about Joseph and Michelle? No. What happened? Did they have a divorce? Oh no, they're pregnant. Really? How far along is Michelle? Joseph told me that she is four months. Oh, okay. How is he handling the news? He was a mess the last time I saw him. How is he now? Is he still crazy? Actually, he seems relaxed and collected. I can't believe Joseph is going to be a father. It's trippy, huh? He's our age. This is making me feel really old. Expressing concern. I heard that your brother's in the hospital. Yeah, he's been in there since last week. Oh no! What happened? Is he all right? He got in a car accident. He should be all right. The doctors told you he would be all right. Yes, but they need to keep him for further tests. Oh, okay. I was so worried when I heard this. Thanks, but everything should be fine. He was lucky. Really lucky. Did anyone else get injured? His girlfriend broke her arm, but that's all. Oh no, that's not good. Is she at the hospital? Yes, she's taking care of my brother. Expressing joy. Come on, guess what? I don't know, chicken butt. Stop playing games. I got the part in the school play. Really? That's great. All this practice is finally paying off. Yes, it is. I can't believe it. Same here. I'm going to be the main character. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see the play. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but I'm glad I got the part. When does the play open? It opens in three weeks. Great. Get me a ticket. I want to be sitting in the front row. Calling a friend. Why don't you ever answer your phone? I'm usually busy. What's up? I wanted to see if you were down to kick it. Where do you want to go? I don't have that much money. Let's go for a drink at the bar where we went last week. Okay, but I only have enough for three beers. It's fine. I'll pay for the rest, but you owe me. Screw that! I paid for you last time. You owe me. Well then, we can call it even. I guess so. Where should we meet? How about the train station by the bar? Sounds good. I'll see you in an hour. Great. See you then. Later's. Invitation. Would you like to go see a movie tomorrow night? I'm busy tomorrow night, but I'm free the night after. That's great. What time should I pick you up? Eight p.m. would be great. Well, eight p.m. it is. What movie would you like to see? I'm not sure which movies are out right now. I actually don't know. How about we choose when we get there? Sure thing. That sounds great. Okay. Should I pick you up at your house, or do you want to meet somewhere? I live by school. If you want, we could meet there. Sure. I drive a white Nissan Sentra. I'll text you later on. Okay. That sounds great. I'll be waiting for your text. Favorite music. Do you have a favorite genre of music? No, but I have favorite bands. What bands would you consider your favorites? The Beatles are the first, 
Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros are the second. Is that all? No, I really like The Clash. They are third. I've only heard of The Beatles. You should check out the other two bands. They're good. Do you have any of their music that you could show me? Sure. Come over to my house after school and I'll show you their music. Great. I've been looking for some new music to listen to. Don't worry. I'll get you into a lot of new stuff. Changing the subject. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Go ahead. How is your relationship with your parents? It's good. I get along with my father more than I do with my mother. If I may ask, why is that? I'm not comfortable answering that. Why are you asking? It's for a class project. Why don't you get along with your mother? What class are you doing this for? It's for my psychology class. Do you live with your dad or your mom? I live with my dad. Do you think that's why you don't get along with your mom? I said I'm not comfortable with talking about that. Change the subject. Leisure activities. I'm bored. Do you want to do something? What did you have in mind? Do you want to go drink? No, I have work tomorrow and I don't want to be hungover. You don't have to get wasted. I know you. You won't shut your mouth until I get wasted. Fine. Let's go to the record store. I hear they have new vinyl. I'm down to go to the record store. I haven't been there in a while. Actually, I don't feel like going to the record store. Well, what do you want to do? Let's go to the movies instead. Yeah, that new movie that I want to see is out. Let's go. Asking for donation. Would you like to donate money for Christopher? Wait, what happened to Christopher? He was hit by a car after school the other day. What? That's terrible. That day I was going to walk home with him, but I decided to go to the library. I can't believe it. Is he okay? He broke some bones, but other than that, he is okay. Oh, great. So why are you collecting money for him? The hospital bills are sort of steep. His parents can't afford it. Oh, wow. Well, here's my last $10. Please send my best to Chris. Thank you. Every dollar counts. Bless your heart for helping him out. Ending a conversation. I didn't like the way you sang tonight. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for coming out. You didn't put in all your effort. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, I'm going to leave now. Why are you in a rush to leave? Because you're being rude and I don't want to speak to you. Well, now I know you can't take criticism. It's not that I can't take criticism. It's that I don't like jerks. How am I a jerk? I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Well, in my honest opinion, I don't care what you think. Now that was rude. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Great. Believe me, I won't be losing any sleep. Fighting a ticket in court. One. Your Honor, I'd like to challenge this ticket. What is your reason for challenging this ticket? The police officer did not have the right to issue the ticket. Can you explain what you mean with that statement? I was rightfully parked. He told me that I was parked in a handicapped space. Well, was it a handicapped space? It used to be. It is not, not anymore. Well, was there a sign letting you know it was a handicapped space? No, because the spot has since been removed. So, did you explain to the officer that it was no longer a handicapped space? I tried, but he wouldn't listen. He said I was trying to get away from paying. Thank you. I will question the officer and get his side of the story. Fighting a ticket in court, too. I can't pay for the ticket. Why can't you pay for the ticket? Well, I just got laid off from my job. Okay, Mr. Richardson. I'm going to have to give you an alternative. What do you mean? I'm going to have to give you 36 hours of community service. 
Thank you for the opportunity, Your Honor. You will report to the nearest community service center. They will tell me where to go? Yes, they will give you an option of places to go. Thank you, Your Honor. I greatly appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope you don't plan on returning to this courtroom anytime soon.